Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another Medtronic Diabetes sponsored product review, and I'm gonna be looking back on the last year wearing my Minimed 770G system. Here's what I'm gonna cover in today's video. Number one, the differences between the Minimed 670G and Minimed 770G systems. Number two, sensor placement and tips. Number three, my pump metrics and how often I use SmartGuard Auto Mode. Number four, infusion sets that I use. Let's get started. As always, I want to disclose that I'm a paid spokesperson for Medtronic Diabetes, but the thoughts, opinions, and data in this video are my own. If you want more information, we've put important safety information in the description of the video as well as at the end of the video. So check that for more information. When the Minimed 770G system was announced last year, one of the more popular critiques was that it wasn't that different from the Minimed 670G system that preceded it. However, there are some really key differences that I've found very useful over the past year, and so I'm gonna share the key differences that I've noticed between the Minimed 670G system and the Minimed 770G system. Starting with Bluetooth connectivity to smartphones. This is probably the biggest difference between the Minimed 670G and the Minimed 770G systems. You can view your pump chart through the Minimed mobile app on your phone. I use an iPhone, but the app has recently been released for Android as well. I'm able to see the last 24 hours of my sensor glucose, insulin on board, and if you swipe left, you can see your time and range summary from the last 24 hours. I use this feature a lot. It's easier for me to look at my phone and look at my sensor glucose versus pulling the pump out of my pocket like I used to. If you like to be incognito with your diabetes technology, and it's really nice to be able to do that, you can pull your phone out of your pocket, look at it just like you're looking at text messages or email and nobody really bothers you. Having all the information in one place on your phone has been a game changer. The only downside to the Bluetooth connectivity is if you get an alert on your phone, like an alert on high or an alert on low, you still have to clear it on the pump itself. So if I get an alert during a meeting, I look at it on my phone first to see what the alert is and then I pull my pump out of my pocket to clear the alert or to take action. I've shared with Medtronic that clearing the alerts via the phone is something that I'd like to see added in the future, so hopefully we'll be able to see that down the line. Bluetooth connectivity also require the transmitter for the Guardian sensor to be updated. Compared to the Minimed 670G transmitter, the Minimed 770G transmitter seems much more reliable. I don't have hard data on this, but anecdotally, it seems like I stay in smart guard auto mode more often. And that works for me. I'd like to stay in auto mode as much as possible. Thanks to the Minibed mobile app, I'm able to auto upload my CareLink data from my smartphone. So when I go to the endocrinologist, I don't have to prepare anything. I just have to make sure my app is running and my sensor glucose data is available for my care team to review. For me, this is huge because it takes a whole extra step out of uploading my CareLink data and it gives my care team access to my sensor glucose without me having to do anything. So big convenience win. I have a video where I talk about the insertion of my Guardian sensor on the back of my arms. I like wearing it there because I think it gives me the best opportunity for the sensor to last the full seven days. And because the sensor takes less damage on the back of my arms, I find the readings to be more accurate. Be sure to check out my recent arm insertion video to learn the full proper steps from Medtronic. Okay, for this, I'm gonna get out my pump and help you navigate to the right screen. From the main menu, scroll down and select options. Go to history, then select sensor glucose review. Next, we're going to set our high and low limits, 180 milligrams per deciliter for high and 70 for low. And under days under average, we're gonna select 30. This is the maximum. These are my metrics for the last 30 days. Time and range metrics obviously vary over a 30 day period, depending on my daily time and range and things that may have impacted my glucose. Still some room for improvement here on the high side, but I'm happy with my results. If you go back to the history screen and select summary, we can see over the past 30 days that I have spent 84% of my time in smart guard auto mode, average daily dose of insulin, 51 units, my basal bolus ratio at exactly 51%, Average carbs, 182. Sensor glucose average, 145 milligrams per deciliter. 
I'm actually most surprised by my basal bolus ratio being 51 to 49. That was a big learning curve for me when I started on the Minimed 670G system four years ago. So overall, I spend about all the time in auto mode. I take 51 units of insulin per day for about 182 carbs with an average glucose on my sensor of 145 milligrams per deciliter. Not bad. Now let's talk about the infusion sets that I use. For the nearly 13 years since I've been wearing an insulin pump, I've primarily used the Silhouette infusion sets. I use the 42 inch tubing because I'm a tall boy, and I use the 17 millimeter cannula. Since I don't have a lot of good fatty areas on my body for pump sites, I've used the Silhouette because of the low insertion angle. But this year, I've also added the Sure-T site using the eight millimeter needle. I had been having issues with my Silhouette sites, and the Sure-T sites had been more durable and more reliable for me. I typically wear my infusion sets on my abdomen, hips, and glutes, but lately I've been more active and playing a lot more intense basketball, so my sights have been getting damaged more often. Diabetes is give and take. Adding a second sight has been really helpful. Okay, so that's it. My one year review on the Minimed 770G system. At the time of publishing, it's still the latest pump innovation from Medtronic while we wait on the FDA approval of the next system. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments or reach out to me on Instagram at robhow21. See you guys next time.